Hi everyone, I'm Helena and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a cauliflower uh, in a unique way. Well, unique. I haven't seen it out there anywhere else. Now, we're going to start by taking a full cauliflower head here. I'm only going to be using half. I'm taking the leaves off and uh, I'm going to cut this into half. Now, with that being done, I have put a cooking pot on the stove here with enough water to cover the uh, cauliflower that we're boiling up. We're going to leave this in here with, uh, with a pinch of salt, just a tiny pinch of salt here. Put a lid on it and let it boil for about five minutes not more than that because we're going to continue by frying the cauliflower so we don't want it soggy or mushy or anything like that okay so our cauliflower is boiled up and uh, more than ready the fork goes in easily but not too easily okay i'm going to take this out of the water uh, leave it on a plate to let the most of the water actually uh, drain out from our cauliflower so we can start frying it up, okay? I'm going to show you some of the, sp the spices that I'm using. Now, this is uh, turmeric in English, uh, a great spice, uh, well-known health benefits. Actually, uh, being said, uh, it uh, substitutes like 15 antibiotics at the same time not one by one. Uh, very healthy for your lungs and your breathing uh, process. So these times I would say this is a great one to use. Now always when we're using uh, turmeric we want to make sure that we have a pinch or more of uh, black ground pe grounded pepper, okay? Uh, the body will not absorb the health benefits unless the turmeric is accompanied with black pepper. Alrighty, I put this into all kinds of things, smoothies, green, uh, green juices and so forth. Now we'll also be using uh, cayenne pepper or if you don't have that or add on as well, Cajun mix to get a slight little spicy uh, hot taste to it. And uh, for the coloring here, I'm going to put some paprika, paprika grounded as well. Okay. And obviously some salt to go with it. Okay. Okay. Now, now once the cauliflower has the, has chilled off a little bit and uh, the water, most of the water and almost nothing left in here, we can start cutting it up. Okay. These are the sizes that we want to have. Uh, something like this or maybe one more cut to some of the larger pieces and we're looking at this size okay now we're going to cut all of it up but the actual root part we're going to we're going to leave behind okay okay we're putting a frying uh, frying pan on the stove uh, medium uh, heat on and I'm just going to take a sip, a little bit of oil in here. We don't want these drained with oils. There you go. And now it's going to heat up and we're going to spread this out. Okay. Just enough for the cauliflower not to stick in the frying pan. Now let's add our cauliflower into here, into the frying pan. There we go. Have the small pieces go in there as well and let's add salt taking one pinch two pinches in there and getting black pepper on the grounded black pepper the grainy one the one you can actually see that it's black pepper also adding on cayenne mix quite a bit of it and some of the paprika mm, starting to smell really good here and now not gonna open this pack I have here with turmeric 
but I'm gonna use one that I have in powder shape to add on here that's already been opened. Again, you wanna have quite a bit on. And now we are moving this around a little bit, okay? Make sure we get the spices on every part of our cauliflower. Now this, we're going to let it uh, fry for a couple of minutes uh, with all of the spices on here. And uh, if you like what we're cooking, give me a like, give me a thumbs up underneath. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, that way you know and have my videos in one place for when you want to cook them. And you'll actually help me to stay alive on Facebook, oh sorry, on Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, also, uh, leave me a comment. Did you like the recipe? Let me know. And I promise if you have questions, I answer all of them, okay? All right, here's our cauliflower, ready, fried up. Now this is super, super tasty. I use this as a side dish or sometimes with an omelet, sometimes uh, with meat or chicken or fish. You can use this for a lot of dishes to add on to the plate. Everybody loves them. If you don't want it uh, over spicy, uh, shorten down a bit on the Cajun mix and the cayenne pepper. Cajun mix is not a must, uh, the paprika is not a must, but it gives that extra little special taste to it. One of my favorites, okay? I'm leaving you cards here or pictures of some other videos of foods that I've made if you want to go in and check it out. They're tasty, they come with great, great cold sauces that you can again use for a lot of other dishes, not just the ones I'm making, okay? So, uh, well, see you back next video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give me a like, and please leave a comment. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, this is Helena's Cook European and some more. Okie dokie. Now, actually, let me correct that name for you. Cook European and more. Helena's Cook European and more. Give me a like, guys. Bon appetit.